In this video, we are going to do the unboxing and look at the, all components of the kit. Then I'm going to explain this ESP32 Wi-Fi Bluetooth microcontroller for Arduino and MicroPython. And we are going to explain this uh, camera expansion board. Let's get started with this. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network. And also it comes with micro SD card where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information, log the information on the device and read it back. You can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery. The kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. This is the microcontroller, the model is ESP32, and then this is 32E. There is another model, 32UE, that has external antenna, but this is the antenna for this piece that has been attached on this PCB. We have USB chip and a connector, user switch, and then reset switch with onboard regulator where the 5 volts come here and it is being converted to 3.3 volts because this module works with 3.3 uh, volts. This small chip, uh, this is a microcontroller where, like Arduino that you can program all the pens, you can read and uh, write, password modulation, uh, digital to analog, analog to digital converter, has built-in, it has Wi-Fi, um, B, G and N band and also uh, low energy, Bluetooth uh, connectivity with security with tons of features all in a tiny board. And let's have a look at the ESP32 Rome 32E board. This is our board and it is equipped with dual core Extensa 32 bit LXR microprocessor. The frequency of Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz, dual band Bluetooth, which is suitable for all applications that we need. Uh, memory and storage, it comes with SRAM and high performance flash. It comes with 38 pen GPIO, GPIO means general purpose input output pens. Uh, it has very low power consumption, security, it has a lot of security features built in and uh, it's very versatile for a lot of industry and home assistance and automation and internet of things. There is a data sheet for ESP32. You see we have 32E and 32UE. 32UES needs external antenna uh, and the one that we are using has already antenna built into it. So this is the antenna, this portion that you see this wire. So we have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy module. And depending on the model that we look, I'm going to show you, we have 30, here it says 24, it, has, it says 26 GPI open not 30 or something which was mentioned on the previous page. This is the full specs in terms of ROM, SRAM, 448, 520, and integrated components, crystal oscillator. Wi-Fi is 
802.11 BGN N and all the connectivity and peripherals that is coming SD card, UART to USB, SPI communication, SDIO, I square C, LED pulses modulation, motor pulses modulation, I2S, infrared. Pulse, uh, pulse counter and then GPI opens uh, with touch, with capacitive touch, analog to digital converter, digital to analog, co analog converter, and then TWAI, TY capability. The module that we have, as you can see, the 32E, the rest. This is the FCC ID, IC, CMITT, so these are different standards or regulations. The AMS 1117, this is a 3.3 volts regulator on the board. And this is the CH340G, this is a USB chip. We have two LED indicators two push buttons and, and ESP32 has all these pins available we have analog to digital converter digital to analog converter let me click here and so you can see the pins on the module have been mentioned like this so these are the GPIO pins that we will use in our code orange is input only and blue is input output and these are pulse width modulation and in terms of color also you can see analog to digital converter have been labeled as orange and then SPI pens are green and the other pens are mentioned like that and here is a comparison of the diagram with actual module the last pen is ground as mentioned here but the pins are uh, started not in order as you can see this is pin 32 22 and then pin 1 GPI 1 3 and so forth so pay attention every time we when we are doing our project I will mention to these GPIO pins as well or the pins are mentioned at the back but these are very tiny so when we insert it on our ex extension board like this all the pins have been labeled in the same order here as you can see 23 22 and then txrx and ground so all of these are exactly the same as this order that you see and the same way for the left side we have pin 36 39 it starts from here, not from these two pens because we don't have 3.3 volts there. Coming all up to 5 volts. But if you need to connect your wires directly, all the pens are available in, the, in this female connector. And the same way for this side. So the most important thing that you should remember, if you need 5 volts, you can get it from here, from there. If you need 3.3 volts, this pen is 3.3 volts, and you can get it from here or there. And beside this pen is ground. And the same way beside this 5 volts, we have ground. The Sun Founders expansion board is amazing. This is built in house, and it has micro SD card slot where you can read and write information to it. Uh, once, once you attach this uh, and also we can attach camera and stream the video over Wi-Fi with this microcontroller if I attach this here you will see that this is very compact and very safe now easily you can connect your wires these terminals are very useful with a provided screwdriver you can just open it insert your wire and And tighten, and tighten it so your wire is secured and you can, uh, with, with peace of mind, you can proceed with your project. 
with this 18650 lithium battery you can power the module everything that is connected to the module will be powered up and you can turn it on and off from this uh, switch it will power up the extension board and the microcontroller and once you connect a micro usb connector to this pin the red led turned on and now this battery is being charged so you don't have to have separate charger for it it just need usb connector the board not only that you can connect your wires directly to these connectors but we have here extra pins if you need it to permanently solder your wire you can do so by inserting it uh, any of these pins and solder it so if you will go to docs.sunfounders.com and scroll down until you see ESP32 under the ESP32 the kit click and this is the introduction and here this is the extension expansion board where I clicked I clicked and I come to this page here this is FCC FCP connector for camera is micro SD connector we have a charge port we have a battery port when we connect the battery and there are LED indicators power switch and these are the headers for ESP32 these two lights here one is for power one is for charge so when you when you turn it on the power will be on when the battery is charged this will turn on the second LED and here, here are the panels for the AXP32 expansion board all of these are listed here these are ESP32 pins and these are the label on the board these are the pins on the right side and these are the pins on the left side of the board we can attach camera like this very easily just pull it up put the camera and then push it let's measure the charge current I'm connecting the positive I'm connecting the positive from the battery to the positive in here K width multimeter that is coming from the multimeter is the positive on this side and the negative is on this side and here right now it shows let me press hold 102 milliampere and if I release it 130 just wait so the current is slowly increasing let's let's see the voltage for the battery it's 3.98 it's almost 4 volts that's why the amount of charge is less but this can be charged with perhaps 500 milliampere we will see I'm not sure This is the TP5400, that's a battery charger and controller. Oh, this is a memory chip. Oh, excellent. So we have extra memory here. So this is an SPI QPI PS RAM. Here is a data sheet for the memory 6404 and if you look at it if you look here at 6404 so this could be 64 128 256 32 or 16 when we have 64 this is a 64 megabit and then 04 has these meanings 16 means times 16 and then 04 means let's see what this is this is this must be a switch yes a205a 
FS8205A is in channel enhancement MOSFET. This can handle the drain current is 6 ampere and internally it has these two in channel MOSFETs where you can use it as a switch. Here is the package. Let's open it and see what is inside it. So we got this nice box. So here is the URL that you can go directly. I will provide you below this video. The list of products have been mentioned here. So on the top we have all these resistors available. Second row we have capacitor, seven segment display. This is a counter module, uh, IC, uh, variable resistor, small push buttons, active and passive buzzers, then four push buttons. This is DHT11 temperature sensor. We have LEDs, 25 pieces. We have two NPN and PNP transistor. RGB LED, photo uh, resistor and thermistor, tilt switch, motion sensor module, audio amplifier, speaker, LCD 1602, L293D, this is the motor driver, line tracking module, ESP32 development board, the 232E, this is the heart of the kit and this is also very important piece that goes with the board this is a camera extension expansion board or extension board this is infrared obstacle avoidance sensor ultrasonic distance sensor joystick moisture sensor micro usb cable actual camera module screwdriver dc motor infrared with receiver infrared remote with receiver a DC pump, RGB strip of LEDs, 9G servo motor, mini breadboard, battery holder, 18650 lithium battery, 65 pieces of jumper, male to male, wires, small fan, 40 pen female male header, one piece, and then jumper wire, 20 pieces, male to female. Uh, a pipe for water pump and then we have general PCB board that you can program and one uh, large breadboard. Now this is the remote, here the large breadboard, the fan 18650, lithium battery, Salvo motor, small buttons, actual camera, seven segment display, buzzer, motor driver, counter, and potentiometer, temperature sensor with transistor, push buttons, capacitor, LEDs. So when we remove this layer, then we have all this resistors with color code so you can easily identify them this is a camera extension board where you can connect camera and also it, it has micro sd card slot we, and here is the this is the esp32 microcontroller where we can do all the programming moisture sensor moisture sensor joystick XY, infrared obstacle avoidance, a line tracker, ultrasonic distance sensor, LCD screen, water pump, battery holder, another infrared sensor, DC motor, micro USB cable, audio amplifier, mini breadboard, water uh, hose, motion sensor, three PCBs for prototyping, tiny screwdriver, 
LED strap speaker. Uh, we have male to male and male to female jumper wires. This is water hose. 